Welcome to the AV42C Multifunction Color Display Tutorial. We will be covering the basics of the three onboard multifunction color displays, which are commonly referred to as MFCD. Each MFCD has 20 function buttons surrounding the display screen and a power dial on the bottom left of each display. Upon turning one on, we can see that there are several different submenus to choose from. The leftmost function button on the top will always be the home button, which upon pressing it will bring you back to this home screen. The equip button will open up the equipment menu, showing us what weapons are currently mounted on the aircraft. The function button next to each weapon will open up that weapon's option menu. Pressing the back button brings us back to the previous menu. The option button will open a menu that will allow us to modify some basic settings of the aircraft, such as the altitude readings between meters and feet, the distance readings between meters and feet, and the speed readings between meters per second and knots. The comms button will bring us to the communications menu, allowing us to communicate with the wingmen for combat and formation changes, as well as the ground crew for rearming and refueling when landed at an airport or out on the carrier. The nav button will open up the navigation screen giving us a satellite map of our location with several options on the function buttons such as zoom in and zoom out. We will go into more detail on the navigation screen in another tutorial. Also note the rightmost button on the top row labeled SOI or Sensor of Interest. Pressing this will toggle this MFCD as the Sensor of Interest noted by the green border allowing us to control this display with our thumb on the flight stick. The OBJ button will bring us to the objective screen, showing us the title and details of our current objective. For example, I'm on free flight because I'm too broke for anything that isn't free since I've spent all of my money on a virtual reality headset. Pressing the CAM button will open the camera screen showing us a series of external cameras around the aircraft. We can cycle between cameras by pressing the previous and next buttons. Pressing the TGP button will open up the targeting pod screen, which can also be set as a sensor of interest. This links up with the external targeting pod and has a lot of functionality. Therefore, we will cover this in another tutorial. The GPS is generally used alongside the navigation screen and sometimes the objective menu as it allows us to configure different waypoints and groups of waypoints which we will cover in another tutorial. The log button will bring us to the flight log showing actions and incidents during the current flight and can be saved to your hard drive for later review. The game button opens the game menu which allows us to quick save and quick load the current mission, as well as restart and exit. There is also an option to center the screen the same way you do with the button on your wrist at the main menu. The SCAM button brings us to the spectator camera menu, which will modify how the game is displayed outside of virtual reality on your standard monitor. For example, when I record, I use the smooth look option and then record what's displayed on my monitor. Everything we covered on the center MFCD can also be done on the other two displays. The possibilities are endless. This concludes the AV42C multifunction color display tutorial. More advanced features of each menu will be covered in other tutorials.